everybody in Nigeria knows that children are a gift and it adds color into the family. When a man or a woman comes home and sees the children, he or she is happy. For my experience, in this, in this year, hasta que yo pude trabajar. Llegó un momento en que de ver tanto niño abandonado, entonces consulté con el esposo. Ser hija adoptiva me cambió la visión del mundo y poder entender que somos una gran familia. I was not raised by my mother, nor my father. I was raised by my uncle's wife and my uncle. And my uncle's wife took us as if, especially I myself, she took me as if I'm her first daughter. El amor, que es la base. Cuando tuve 19 años, quedé embarazada. Tenía muy claro que no hacía parte de mi proyecto de vida en ese momento. Así como experimenté la decisión de mis padres de adoptarme y de elegirme como su hija libremente, quise para mi hijo en un hogar que lo estuviese esperando. En Nigeria, every child is every woman's child. There is no segregation that you are my biological child, you are not my biological child. No. When you see a child doing wrong thing, whether that child belongs to you or not, you put that child to order. I don't think you have to be a mother to be a real woman. Because there are many women who have reached high positions who aren't mothers, but they're real women because they give back. They're helpful, they're caring. They have that motherly spirit, but they're not mothers. There are a lot of children I view as my children. Um, I have some pictures in my phone of children that I cherish so much. And anytime I'm with them, I feel they are my biological children. Makes me feel happy. Makes me feel happy that I'm contributing in raising children in the community. Because um, those children I raise see me equally as their mother. So they don't see me as an outsider. When they come here, they don't call me auntie. They call me mommy, mommy, mommy. And I don't tell them don't call me mommy because they are my children also. <laughs>